Good morning. This is Spartans Live, broadcasting live from Dobbin Middle School in Cheshire, Connecticut. I am Steph, and my co-host is Hannah. Today is October 24th, and it is an A-Day. Let's get this day started by standing for the National Anthem, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for a moment of silence. Now for the news and announcements here at Dodd where the following students report to the library with replacement Chromebooks and chargers. Your Chromebooks have been repaired. Colin Rogenstein, Luke Byman, Emma Ford, Caitlin Crow, Emma Jardim, Jackson Norcross, Kylie Connolly, Justin Jacaruso, Cole Finauer, Rachel Krieger, and Michael Guest. This Friday, all staff and students are asked to wear pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Thank you. There will be no student council meeting tomorrow. We will meet next Tuesday, November 1st. All students auditioning for the CMEA Southern Regional Festival co Choruses have a meeting on Wednesday, October 26th after school until 3.30. Did you know that all of Connecticut's garbage is now burned instead of going to landfills? In fact, it's happening right here in Wallingford. On Wednesday, the Environmental Club traveled to Boulder Knoll Farm here in Chester to learn about how to reduce the amount of garbage we produce through composting. The students learned a lot about the science behind it and were able to observe different composting stations in action. If you're interested in starting your own compost at home or helping us start one here at school, please see Mrs. Gonzalez in room 226. A reminder to all students interested in attending Wilcox Technical High School, there is an open house at Wilcox this Thursday night at 530. Attention 8th grade students, keep your high school options open. We have two schools presenting their programs at Dodd on November 9th. Lyman Hall, a school in Wallingford, offers an agricultural program with such courses as large and small animal technology, food and plant, science, food and plant sciences, agricultural machinery, and wildlife biology. And Wilcox Tech, a technical high school located in Meriden, offers courses such as automotive, gra automotive, graphics, health, information systems and manufacturing technologies, carpentry, culinary arts, hairdressing, electrical, plumbing, and heating. Lyman's presentation on the 9th will be at 8.30 in the library, and Wilcox will be at 12.22. If you are interested in learning more about these schools, please come down to the Counseling Department office and sign up for one or both of these sessions. Now we have a special announcement from the Kindness Club. This week, from Wednesday to Friday, the Kindness Club will be selling cards during all lunch waves. You can buy these cards as a gift for Dodd staff and students. Inside the cards, you can write a kind message to a person who's special to you. The Kindness Club will deliver these on October 31st during homeroom. Congratulations to the FEA for their, effort, their efforts at their last read-aloud event at the Cheshire Public <laughs> Library. 
FEA members <laughs> read Halloween stories to preschool age children and ran a fun craft project where children made spooky spider web plates. The following members should be recognized for their hard work and dedication to teaching. Grace Pettit, Kelly Margulies, Alyssa Bahuniak, Jennifer Stokes, Lucy Helene, Caitlin Pear, Sarah Gibertoni, Carly Mizowitz, Olivia Mbimbo, Brenna Gelati, and Emma King. Great job, everyone. Here is an important announcement regarding the dog food drive starting today. In America today, one in six people, including hardworking men and women, suburban families, and young children are struggling with hunger. Tonight, over 50 million Americans won't have enough food to eat by day's end. The face of hunger in America is not the homeless guy. Turns out the face of hunger in America is a single mom. It's grandparents raising babies. It's the elderly. It's the infirm. So they are working two jobs. They're living on the edge and they're trying to feed their families. So they have to choose between paying the mortgage or feeding their families. I do have children that will come into school some days and for whatever reason, they didn't eat breakfast. A child simply cannot focus if they are hungry. These kids, they're not able to get a subsidized lunch. And they rush to school Monday morning to get breakfast. Poverty and hunger is something people are ashamed of. No one wants to admit that. Hunger in America is something that's so internal, so behind closed doors, that you really can't put a face on it. <laughs> Teams are asked to bring in canned and boxed non-perishable food items to help those in need in our community. The team that brings in the most items will the next two weeks will win a pizza party. Thank you for contributing. Attention sports fans, the, ho the volleyball team <laughs> is on a hot streak. The Lady Spartans have won five straight games. Come see Elena Zebarth, Sophie Murphy, Hannah Portal, Sarah Hawley, Maddie Balschmieder, Reagan Bailey, Hannah Roberts, and all the 8th graders play their last home game versus DePaulo Middle School this afternoon. Come cheer them on. The Dodd Field Hockey Team improved to 8-0 to zero with a 2-1 to one victory at a rainy swift. Danielle Floyd had two awesome assists to Kate Convertito and Sophia Vats. Sophia's goal was a big shot that ended up being the game-winning goal. Carly Allen played the game of her career at Sleeper while both Leah Escato and Olivia Prezioso did a great job defending our goal. The following students report to see Ms. McGrimley immediately after the announcements. Quinette Quinton Cole, Marissa Hurd, Caitlin Crow, and Jackson Florenza. Well, it looks like that is all for the news and announcements for today. Have a great day. We will see you tomorrow on, on Spartans, Spartans Live. Live.